Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas for Amazon Web Services reInvent Conference. This is theCUBE. It's our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. I'm joined by my co-host Dave Vellante from wikibon.org. And our next guest is Eli Lubitsch, president of Beamer. Welcome to the, uh, the Cube. Thank you very Appreciate much. Appreciate you Thank coming you on. Much. So, um, your business is media optimization. Talk about your business because, you know, obviously we're doing live video. We have a YouTube channel. And I was just reading uh, uh, some discussion, conversation we were having online with some other thought leaders around uh, web traffic and that Netflix and YouTube combine most of the internet traffic these days, but media is a, a huge thing. Obviously, Instagram was bought by Facebook, Snapchat just to turn down a $3 billion offer. Photos are hot, photos are the killer app, videos is going crazy, everyone's got mobile devices. Um, so media is a very hot technical market right now. Absolutely. Rights absolutely. management, all these things. Talk about absolutely. your business. So I think that yes, uh, this is perfect uh, timing to present uh, uh, our business. And um, uh, our contribution is uh, with media optimization. We have uh, invented a um, quality measure algorithm that we can attach to standard block-based encoders, any encoder like JPEG or H.264 or H.265. And by doing so, we can drive the encoder frame by frame to the minimum possible, yes, to the minimum file size possible before introducing any uh, visible artifacts visible to human. So we can optimize, for example, uh, 1080p videos by an average of 50% or, or uh, more without uh, uh, compromising the quality. We will retain the original quality and the original resolution. So that's basically uh, our invention. And it can be used uh, in two main usage cases. One is you already have a, a pre-encoded uh, library or a website with photos. So obviously you will be uh, happy to uh, introduce some savings into your uh, um, network and storage uh, accounts. But for first and foremost, you will enjoy uh, enhanced user experience. You can imagine, yes, that if you reduce the file size of a photo by 60%, you can accelerate the page upload time uh, uh, three times faster. It will be three times faster, yes? So, so uh, um, user experience is uh, the number one contribution, yes, uh, for you as a publisher or social network uh, or media company or e-commerce company or anyone that is really engaged in, in rich media, photos and videos. So how do you play in the cloud? So, so we, you know, I know we got a tight time schedule for your, for your schedule, but uh, talk about the cloud dynamic, because obviously everyone can relate to how huge video files are and photos. So talk about how your interplay with the so cloud. So obviously the AWS, uh, the cloud, is the perfect uh, platform for us uh, because it is scalable, and uh, you can imagine, yes, that our uh, uh, process is computational intensive, yes? Uh, let's say uh, a single instance uh, as, uh, processing time for 720p uh, file, one hour, we will need like seven hours, yes, to, to optimize this one hour of video. Nevertheless, we have a, uh, a, a splicer that will allow you to splice the file and run in parallel. And of course, the AWS, the cloud, is the most scalable, the most reliable platform that you can uh, uh, apply massive um, uh, computational intensive uh, processes. Uh, so uh, this is, uh, of course, very dear to us. We have uh, our product, our photo product available on the Amazon Marketplace, JPEG Mini server. It is uh, available uh, also on the Amazon uh, Marketplace uh, and also as a Linux executable that you can install um, uh, in your own uh, Amazon uh, instances. Uh, Beamer Video, our new product, the video optimization uh, product, uh, is right now available as a, um, uh, an executable that you can uh, install. And as I said before, you can optimize your content or very important or equally important, you can use this technology uh, to enhance, to let's say that you have a budget today, a bit budget to deliver 360p. We will allow you to deliver 480p for the bit price of 360p or deliver 720p for the budget of 480p, or 1080p for 720p. So once again, enhancing the user experience, and let's uh, remember, yes, every smartphone today 
uh, is a full 1080p device. This is the S4 or the, the new uh, Apple uh, 5S. These are full 1080p devices. So why would you deliver 360p to a 1080p device? So our message is uh, rich media. If your business is social network, if your business is e-commerce, if your business is publishing or media or entertainment, the quality of the visual counts. And you really want to deliver the, the best user experience possible to any destination. Mobile, landline, fiber, DSL. So Eli, can you explain what your workflow looked like prior to AWS? What was the process like and, and how did that change? So um, basically, uh, we had a very simple uh, Linux uh, ex executable. You install it, yes, you, you, you license the software, $2,500 uh, annual license fee, and that's it. It's a file base. You read a file, you optimize it, and write it back. Uh, fully transparent to the client. We are within the standard, yes? We didn't invent any new uh, codex uh, system. We are totally within the standard of JPEG and uh, H.264. So this was the traditional uh, workflow, yes? You have to install, you have to script it, you have to embed it in your workflow. Oh, so that was, you would, and, and, and the customer would do that on some high performance workstation. Yeah, exactly, or, or a, a private uh, cloud uh, scenario okay. also possible. Some of our customers are tier one studios and tier one uh, um, uh, publishers, so obviously they have private cloud. But today, of course, uh, uh, with, the, with the AWS platform, um, you, you, you basically have a, a scalable uh, platform that you can run and many, as many processes uh, uh, that you need. You can accommodate peak time, and you can, if you want, a very fast turnaround. Of course, as I said before, you can parallel uh, process your files and get very fast turnaround, and you don't have to really worry about this very powerful machine. So when, when was Beamer founded? So Beamer was uh, fou founded in 2009, and for three years, uh, we were engaged in scientific research only. Uh, we started to do business only 18 months ago. Yes, we have 44 international patents and applications. Uh, so although the company is uh, four years old, we are still uh, the most kept secret in the industry. So, but okay, so there was, a, but there, am I correct? There was a time where you were not using AWS to complete the process, and then you decided, all right, we're going to move to the cloud. Is that right? Or? This was uh, primarily when we were in a research and development stage. From day one, the AWS seems to be the best uh, platform for us. So we have uh, jpegmini.com, our uh, showcase of our photo technology. Mm. The, po the, the, the server, the processing power behind this uh, jpegmini.com, everything of course is AWS. So okay, again. so, and you, so that now you, you sell this as a service, right? Uh, right now, again, we have the JPEG Mini on the Amazon Marketplace and we have an executable that we license. It's not, it's not a service. For a few carefully selected uh, customers, we offered S3 ah. to S3, uh, but right now uh, it's, it's a product that you license, you install it on AWS and, uh, and, and use it. Eli, thanks for coming on theCUBE, really appreciate it. Great to get the entrepreneurs as well here using the cloud. Obviously we've been using Amazon, we love it. Dave and I have had great experiences building our crowd chat platform on Amazon. Again, total game changer, and again, reliability, um, cost, user experience, we need it. We need better, better media engineering out there, so appreciate your time. Beamer, check it out. Uh, we'll be right back with this, after the short break. Exclusive coverage, SiliconANGLE, and Wikibon theCUBE, we'll be right back. Thank you very much.